Don't miss a beat. Join the notification squad by clicking that bell. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. And be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be setting up and uh, creating a plugin message uh, system or a plugin message channel. Um, now, I did have the speed code of this that was actually supposed to be this episode, but unfortunately, my audio didn't record, uh, so now we're redoing it. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you have some trouble, go over there and check it out. And now I did change a few things up here. We are going to need to extend Java plugin. So you're going to need to put in Spigot because this is technically part of Spigot, but also part of Bungie, but it's more on Spigot than Bungie, but you need a Spigot plugin in order to use a plugin message channel. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So I've also split up them over here in Bungie Corda stuff and then bu Bucket stuff. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to make a new class and we're just going to call this, but oops. Plugin message, and this is going to go ahead and implement plugin message listener. And now we can go ahead and implement the methods. We're going to change this string here to channel, and then we're going to change the bytes to message just so we know exactly what each one is. And it just makes things a little bit easier here. So how this works is this is sort of like the response. So this is what's going to happen when um, an action happens, when you actually call one of these events to happen in games. So we're not really going to do anything if the channel is equal to, oops, if I can spell, if the channel is equal to bungee cord. Now we got to make sure we put an uppercase C and an uppercase B, and we're just gonna put equals because it can't equal anything else. It has to equal bungee cord like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and return this. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and get the the input, which is going to be byte array input, data input, okay? And then we'll just go ahead and say input, and this is gonna equal a byte stream dot new data input and our message. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and get a string and we'll call this sub channel. This will make sense in just one second. This is going to be in dot read UTF. And now we'll come back to this after we've finished a few other things. So let's just go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to go ahead and start creating our first um, bungee cord messages or our methods, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and say public void connect and we're going to require that there's a player and then there's a string which is actually going to be the server we want to go to so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say byte data output and this is going to be output and this is going to equal the byte streams dot new data output okay and so now we're going to go ahead and say out dot write utf utf and then the string which is going to be our server because it wants to know the sub channel which is why we have sub channel up in here and this will make sense in just one second here so this is the sub channel that we want to go to so it's going to be a bungee cord our sub channel and then our arguments are going to follow afterwards and so next is our argument and our argument is going to be write utf and it's going to be the player and the player that get display name because we want their name. Now what we can go ahead and do is we just have to go ahead and say player dot send plugin message, the plugin, which we don't have yet. So we're just going to go ahead and call that and be private bungee main plugin equals bungee main dot get instance. So it's going to be the plugin, which is plugin the message is going to be bungee cord. Well, I guess this, the, yeah, the message, um, that'll work. And then our bytes, which is going to be the output dot two byte array. Pretty easy stuff. I'd like to say so, right? Pretty easy stuff. And I totally lied. This is not going to be 
it's not going to be this. Sorry, it's not going to be server and player name. It's actually going to be connect. And then it's going to be the server. So I totally lied. That's that's what you want right there, not the server and then the player name. You want connect, then the server, and this is automatically going to get the the player from from this because the player is sending it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a command really quickly here. And we'll just call this connect command. I should probably go ahead and launch Minecraft at this point. And then we're just gonna go ahead and implement command executor. Implement the methods. We'll change this to sender. We'll change this to args. Okay, we'll change this to true. And now we're gonna go ahead and say, if sender is instance of player, and I'm gonna kind of breeze through this here because I hope at this point you guys sort of know how to make commands. Uh, so if sender is instance of player, we are going to go ahead and cast the player to, we're gonna go ahead and cast sender to the player. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and say, if command.getName that equals ignore case, connect, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do something, and then we're gonna go ahead and say, if args.length is equal to one, we're gonna go ahead and do something else. We are going to send the player a message in red, because red is the universal thing for you messed up. And we're just going to go ahead and have the usage of the command. Cool. But if the args doesn't equal that, we're going to go ahead and, well, you know, so we're just going to go ahead and say private plugin message. Oops. Plugin message equals a new plugin message. And now, if it does have one argument, we're just gonna go ahead and say plugin message dot connect. It's gonna be the player and the server, which is going to be our args zero. And now the only thing was this is this doesn't check to see if this server actually exists. It's just going to connect if it does and not say anything if it doesn't. Now you can set up a way to check to see if the server actually exists, um, but we're not gonna do that just for the sake of time and simplicity of this. But we're, I've already set it up in my plugin.yml as well, so I don't need to do that. Oops. Uh, but in our Bungie main here, we got to go ahead and add a few things here in order for this to work. So we got to go ahead and say this dot get server dot get messenger, and then we're gonna go ahead and say register outgoing plugin channel, and it's gonna be this, and then a new, oh, oops sorry this, and then Bungie core. Make sure you use here it won't work. And now we're gonna say incoming. And it's gonna be the same thing, except for on the end, it's going to be new plugin message. Cool. And now we just gotta do one last thing here. We just have to go ahead and register our command. And our command is going to be connect. And then we just gotta set the executor as a new connect command. So now, if I go ahead and build this, and we go ahead and check our server here, our plugin here should be building in this folder. Cool, it's building in this folder. I gotta remember to keep everything inside this area because I always zoom. Oops, my game was in full screen. Okay, so now if we go ahead to our server here, I don't remember which one is which. Okay, here we go, Bungie cord has loaded. Okay, so if we go ahead and connect, and we'll still have, okay. So if we go ahead and say connect, you can see there it says connect and then the server because we obviously issued the command wrong. But now if we go ahead and say connect, dog you'll see it doesn't say anything but it also doesn't give us any errors in the console it's basically just not connecting to a server because there's no server named dog now you could go ahead and run a config that checks for the server names uh, i think there's a way you can do it through bucket where you can see all or bungee where you can see all of the server names but again that's a little more complicated than what we're going to do for this video but if we go ahead and say connect survival and you can see there that we go ahead and connect it into our survival world and it says you are currently connected to survival. So I want to thank you guys again for all the support you guys have given the channel and be sure to leave a comment, drop a like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys on Thursday.